Romo began in uh, March of 2006. Incredibly, it was uh, a need that I perceived here in the Jewish community of New York City to have a center for mind, body, and spirit. I started going to Romamu when it was once a month in a gymnasium. I just loved the energy and the spirit and the feeling at Romamu. A place for the renewal of spirituality through a Jewish lens. It was a very special time, the early days of Romamu. It was like a small fire that had been lit. The people around that fire were just shining bright. And we knew at the time that we were building something quite special. There's a depth of feeling. There's a deep connection. You know, good places magnetize good people. And the energy at Roma was really beautiful and celebratory and deep, rich from the beginning. And so we attracted a lot of really incredible people. And Jade, when I first met her through Romamu, was the shining light that, that she is today. We had a four or five member board, and Jade was asked to join that board. And then over time, as she really evolved and developed as an active board member of Romamu, suddenly we as a community were looking to grow and actually hire a full-time executive director. And lo and behold, Jade stood up. And then see Jade take on every facet of building Romamu. Those first steps of starting us um, as a community, I think is really important for us to appreciate. And then she's very knowledgeable about Judaism. And so she really brings her whole heart and soul into the work that she has done. And, and she worked really hard to help grow Romamu to where it is today. I feel like I'm dreaming the dream that I would have been dreaming. So I want to just thank everyone so much for being here with me and for being in that dream and continuing in the dream. Live long and prosper. <laughs> you don't always get a gift like Jade. Jade welcomed me the first day and took me by the hand and introduced me to the community and told me all of the things I needed to know about what Romamu was about and how to succeed here. Every Friday night when I walk in that door, I get an immediate sense of joy and fulfillment and relaxation. Jade welcomes everybody in a way which says, you're amazing, come sit and be your amazing self. Looking at Jade makes me want to be like her. And I was the proud recipient of the Jade Natanya Spirit Award this year. So I think other people think that I might be close to being like her, but there's no one on earth that could be quite like her, except for her. But when I came here, what really struck me is there was just something about what was touching people's hearts. And it was something that was inspiring them to be the best possible person that they could be. The way she lives in the moment is one of the greatest gifts she gives all of us. I will never forget how excited Jade would get when she would look out at our community and say things like, aren't we the best? Isn't Roma the best place to work, David? Isn't Roma the best community to belong to, David? Aren't we so lucky? Well, nobody's more Roma Mo than Jade. It's been a joy and a pleasure to be her friend and experience the wonderful world of Jade Natanya because there's nothing, nothing, nothing on the earth like it. When you look at Jade, you see the awesomeness of not only her potential, but she touches all of us and allows us to see our potential. In ripples of impact, that's what Jade wants to make, is an impact for the good. Because I think that ultimately Jade feels most fulfilled when she sees other people fulfilled and happy as she makes the shift from staff member to congregant, she will really find joy in the congregation that she built. We love Jade. We love Wollamoo. <laughs>